Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and in today's session, uh, we will know about the inventory management uh, module of NetSuite application. But before that, uh, we will know about some uh, basics uh, and I'll be taking an introductory session of the inventory management today. So let's start. Uh, so before that, uh, we should learn what is inventory. So inventory refers to all the items, goods and materials uh, that is held by a business for the purpose of selling it into the market in order to earn profit. And uh, it can be of the various types like uh, the inventory can be in the form of raw material. Uh, raw material are the things that are used uh, in the process of production in the process of product. Sorry. Uh, yeah, before converting the goods into the finished one, the things that are used are the raw material. Then the other type we have is the work in process. The items and the things that are used during the process of production are the work in process. And the next is finished goods or products. So, you know, these are the completed products that are readily available for the customers to be sold in the market. So these are the three types of inventory that are available to us. So if we talk about the inventory management, so it is the process of managing inventory from raw material to finished products, as well as uh, it also includes the warehousing and processing of such items. In simple terms, I will say that inventory management is a set of all those processes which is used to look upon and organize goods or materials in an efficient manner. Uh, good inventory management uh, begins with having an accurate and accessible information about the inventory. Uh, like it consists with the questions, uh, how many items do I have and where and how many items have I committed to sale? So these are all the questions, uh, you know, that are uh, that can be managed with the help of inventory management. With effective inventory management, we can streamline the stock levels and do, to reduce cost and maximize profit. Obviously, the basic purpose of every business uh, is that uh, so uh, is that to reduce the cost and uh, maximize the profit. So it can be done effectively if the inventory management uh, is uh, properly uh, executed in the business. So managing inventory is one of the most important tasks for every business. It has certain objectives like uh, if we talk about its objectives, so it has greater in insight, which means that it ensures a continuous supply of material and stock so that production should not suffer at the time of customer demand. The next uh, objective of it is uh, avoiding stock outs and excess stock. So with proper planning of inventory, we can avoid and reduce the chances of overstocking and understocking of inventory in the business. Cost saving, uh, the main purpose of every business to, you know, save the cost. So it helps in optimizing various costs that uh, includes, uh, that are included in the inventory like purchase cost, carrying cost, storage cost and so on. So this is about the cost saving. Uh, if we talk about the quality assurance, so uh, in order to ensure the quality of goods at reasonable price and to minimize loss due to wastage and damages, an accurate and proper uh, inventory management is required for that. The next uh, objective of it is a more organized a warehouse. So uh, to ensure everlasting inventory control so that material shown in the uh, stock ledger should be physically available in the warehouse. So in that manner, uh, we can have a very uh, well organized warehouse. The last uh, objective of inventory management is uh, increased profit. The other uh, main purpose for any business is to increase or enhance the profit. So a better understanding of both availability and demand leads to higher inventory turnover, which leads to greater profit. So to conclude that I would say that uh, the goal of inventory management is to get the product to the customer in the short period of time 
and at the lowest cost uh, and uh, this is mainly done to maintain quality and a uh, customer service so here we have the netsuite if we talk about the netsuite inventory management so the inventory management module you know uh, consists of various functionalities that help business to keep the ideal amount of stock on hand and avoid both like you know we have discussed it uh, just now that the um, we can very well uh, avoid the out of stock uh, uh, features and if uh, excess inventory is there along with that it also helps in boosting the cash flows and it also increase the profitability of the business so under the uh, netsuite inventory management uh, it has been divided into two categories first is the basic inventory management and the other is in advanced inventory management so under the basic inventory management we have uh, inventory workflows that consist of purchasing replenishing selling fulfilling and all we will be uh, knowing about that also then we have the under the basic inventory management uh, assessment of stock levels the stock levels are assessed from the various uh, points uh, then we have the adjusting inventory there are various uh, uh, circumstances in which the inventory is to be adjusted so we will be knowing about that under the inventory adjustment uh, topic then we have reviewing negative inventory there are uh, certain uh, negative inventories are there that uh, has to be reviewed so that will be taken up in that this is about the basic inventory management for uh, advanced inventory management we have these three uh, advanced uh, features like demand planning supply planning and then available to promise uh, so we will be knowing about these uh, features in our uh, upcoming sessions so that's about the net suite inventory management in our upcoming sessions uh, we will uh, be knowing about that uh, in a more detailed way so that's all from from my side in case of any questions and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you